Hello, in this video, we're going to show talk about how to create an app once you have uh, your uh, app developed, how you're going to publish it to Google Play Console so that all your users can get to it. So it's a very simple step. Once you have your app developed, what you need to do is create an account with Google Play Console and it costs $25, a one-time fee to uh, log in and sign into this um, Google Play Console. But however, once you do log in, it's very easy and you can publish as many apps as you want. So we're going to get started and um, we're going to create a sample app here. Let's call it, give it an app name. You can give your app a name. I'm going to call it Trivia. And you choose the language. Um, you need to say if it's an app or a game. I'm going to say it's an app. And you get to say if it's a free or a paid app. Once it's paid, you can downgrade it to free. But if you do publish an app as a free, obviously you cannot make it paid. So just be mindful of that. And you need to accept these declarations. And this will help. This will create your app. Once an app is created, the Google Play Console itself is very helpful and lands you on a dashboard that takes you step by step through it to uh, get you to publish your app. So as you can see here, this is the dashboard and it, it gives you the steps and the tasks you need to do to complete in order to get to publish your app. So first thing you need to do is test your app. Uh, while testing your app, you can also work on setting up your app. There are a bunch of things you need to do in terms of setting up your app, which is getting your store listing published and um, which which means like store listing is what the what people see when they go on Google Play Console and it tells you about what the app tells the users what app it is. So there are a few steps in the store listing that you have to take in order like uh, such as upload some images of your uh, screenshots of your app. You will have to upload so you'll need all of that ready in order to publish your app. So I'll walk you through and show you what the what the steps are and this is a brief overview and hopefully uh, you can really get an insight of what you need. It's just really takes five to ten minutes to publish if you have everything ready so main thing is to have your app developed and have it have the uh, app bundle ready make sure you have a bundle file the android bundle files because those are more efficient and they, they are um, very uh, very smaller in size compared to the apk files that uh, were published and also google Play console requires you to have the bundle uh, app bundles nowadays uh, since 2021 and since August 2021 so I believe you will need that so uh, to set up your app you will have to get a store listing I can walk you through that and, and then you have to release your app and finally the last step is to publish your app here publish your app on Google Play so we'll get to these they're all there are these tasks are already um, this dashboard shows you all the steps you actually need to take so you just as you complete them it actually check marks it's for example for testing you have to first do an internal testing of your app where you can choose some testers with like you know you just enter the email addresses of the testers you choose and you can invite them to come test your app and which releases you want them to test on so you choose that um, what's really important uh, is the setting up your app here so let's see what are the steps to set up your app. So in setting up the app, you need to know uh, you need to know the app access, whether the app needs access to any specific user information. If it's a simple app, you can just say no. Uh, does it contain any ads? What are the content ratings? What are the target audiences the app will be targeting? Is it a news app? And is it a COVID-19 kind of status of, uh, tracking app? And also... Uh, the app category and lastly the store listing so let's look at the app access so here all is asking is that if your part is uh, if your app is part of a restricted um, uh, uh, apps are restricted uh, it, like basically does your app need any to log in or does it require membership or location information uh, you would say yes but all functionality is available without special access because then you would have to prompt the users to get that information from them and they are so that you are in privacy you're not you don't have any privacy violations and stuff like that now ads you will select this one you say my app contains ads if you do have an ad mob account and if your app has any ad ads will be showing ads then you have to say yes my ad will contain apps uh, my app will contain ads and then and then go back to the dashboard and complete the next step so here are all the tasks right we have eight tasks here to do so we need to save content rating we need to take this questionnaire um which will simply rate our content uh, rate our app just it's just gonna ask you basic questions about uh is the app like um 
you know, if the app, um, a news app or what category it is. So I'm going to say um, that you choose the category, you choose does it have any violence, does it have sexuality, does it have any offensive languages, no, does it have anything about control substance, so you mark no for all this. Does your app allow you to do any of these things? Uses share the physical. You say no to all these questions, and then you would have completed this, and your app will have a content rating. So I just let them it, and now we're gonna go. I just need to finish this step actually. Let me just finish this. Um, And uh, these steps don't need to be done in uh, done in specific order. You can also navigate to them using the left hand um, menu here. But let's look at our store listing. The store listing is what you need to provide. What the name is, you need to provide. Give a short description. Uh, this is this is a trivia app or something like. Give a description what you expect to users to know, and you need to also give a full description here, and then. You need to provide the graphics. You need to make sure you have all the graphics ready here. The app icon you want to display in a 512 by 512 pixel. You need featured graphics. You can also provide a link to a YouTube video, which is awesome if you do that. Um, and then you can create different uh, screenshots for phones, tablet, and um, yeah. So that will create your store listing. I can show you an example of the store listing I have done here for this app this app of mine is in internal testing right now um and it tells you that uh, you know all the steps you need to take in order to publish the apps so um, you can do testing you can set up open test tracks and roll out releases to that so that's pretty much it actually all you need to do and the main thing is uh, let me walk you through this main thing publishing your task and publishing your app right this is where you publish you select the countries and the thing you need and uh, you need to create a new release and in the release you will actually choose the app bundle you need to upload the app bundle and uh, say where the app bundle files are. Once you approve this, this is what mainly publishes your app. So there are really like three things you need to do. One is to make sure you set up store listing and without that you will not be able to publish. You also need to have this app bundle up to release and also you need to do some testing. You will have to launch it to internal testing and then release it to production. So the steps are pretty straightforward. I mean, as um, and you can also navigate from here and optimize more. And once your pu app is published, it will tell you if they, what is your uh, policy status if your app is any has any policy violations or anything like that. But read more about the policy violations before you get started. And there is a great and cool resource uh, if you just Google for Google Play Academy. Um, they have a lot of free courses on uh, what Google Play Console is and um, how to publish your app further. Thanks for watching.